everyone, this is Tara from the Sticker Garden. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am pre-planning for the week of May 16th through May 21st in my Plum Planner Vertical Priorities Planner. I will be pulling in elements from the Sadie Stickers March subscription kit along with elements from Mint to Studio, Paper Trail Plans, and Red Lyrics. This is only the second week I have been using stickers in my functional planner, and although there is a vertical structure to this layout, I'm really trying to achieve more of a journaling spread look. In my last spread, I was very inspired by Tattoo Teacher Plans and KDK Plans, so I pulled in a lot of their design elements into my spread, and while I did the same for this spread, I really focused on working with elements that I was comfortable with, so I felt more confident in journaling for this week. So to start off the spread, very much inspired by KDK plans and tattoo teacher plans, I pulled in this Tombow, I think it's a brush pen and 761. Last week I highlighted the days of the week appointments and to do's and then my habit tracker and then the current week section in two different colors. I wasn't a huge fan of that, so this week I just pulled in this very soft pastel pink color that I felt matched the Sadie Stickers March subscription kit perfect. I do not currently have a lot of Tombow brush pens. I think I only have about seven, so I don't have a huge selection to choose from. If I stick with planning like planning with or journaling with stickers in my functional planner my plan is to slowly build up my collection one of my goals in journaling in my functional planner is to pull in more of my character stickers i have such an amazing collection of character stickers that i just feel don't really fit my current style of memory planning so i really want to utilize them in this planner I had a beautiful sheet designed by Red Lyrics entitled um, Pretty in Pastels. The version is, she has two versions. She has like a normal size fashion girl sheet and then a mini size. I did purchase the mini size. I felt that this fashion girl, the, her color of her dress with the purple florals fit really well with this 80 Stickers collection. I am so happy with the way that scene turned out with the fashion girl layered over that torn paper sticker with the brick pattern. I absolutely love that brick pattern. I did also pull in some florals from the collection and accented the florals with some butterflies from Sadie Stickers and a dot cluster sticker from Honey Inked. I do have a coupon code with Sadie Stickers. It is Terra20 to save you 20% off your purchase. Moving to the box on the right page in that upper left hand corner, I decided to pull in some transparent watercolor swatches from Paper Trail Plans. The color palette is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know about you, but transparent stickers still very, very much intimidate me. After I laid them out on the page, I just wasn't happy with the way that they looked, so I end up peeling them up. Unfortunately, I didn't have my undo with me, so the plum paper planner pages are, are not very sticker friendly, so it did tear up the page. I believe I mentioned this in my last functional plan with me, but Lindsay from My Crafty Plans, she suggests putting the sticker on your arm before placing it on the plum paper planner pages, so that way they are easier to peel up. But with transparent matte stickers, I was afraid of doing this because I thought that the transparent matte paper would pick up the oils off my skin and then stain the paper. I do end up pulling in the transparent matte watercolor swatches from Paper Trail Plans a couple times throughout this spread, but in that particular section, I opted for the watercolor swatches that were included in the Sadie Stickers kit. 
in my last functional plan with me, I wasn't a huge fan of how I pulled in so many stickers to that box on the left side of the page in that upper corner. I just thought it looked so heavy. So this week I decided to make that box my pregnancy tracker and I absolutely love how it turned out. It was definitely a good idea to switch those two boxes. Can we just all stop for a moment and admire that super cute bunny sticker designed by Letters to Apollo? Oh my goodness, that has got to be the cutest sticker ever. I am so obsessed with this bunny sheet. I had to pull it into this spread. I also pulled in um, a floral dandelion also designed uh, from Let Letters to Apollo. I do have a coupon code with Letters to Apollo as well. It is Tara10 to save you 10% off your purchase. To tell you the truth, this whole scene is just absolutely stunning and so cute. I mean, look at the grass stickers from Sadie Stickers. I absolutely love those stickers. I mean, how can grass be cute? I don't know. But somehow Alicia pulled it off and those grass stickers are super cute. To mark how many weeks pregnant I am this week, I pulled in a Lace Heart sticker from Mint 2 Studio. The Lace Heart stickers was actually the first sticker sheet I purchased from Mint 2 Studios. And I now have a discount code with her shop as well. It is Tara15 to save you 15% off your purchase. I am so sorry I keep throwing my coupon codes at you guys, but if you see something you like, I really don't want you to miss out on the opportunity to save money, so I'm sorry if I'm kind of being annoying. Let me know in the comments below if you would rather me just say in the beginning of the video, hey, check out the description below for my coupon codes, or if you would rather me announce them as I lay down the stickers. I personally prefer watching videos where the person says their discount codes as they're laying down the stickers because I don't always remember to check the description below, but let me know in the comments below what you prefer. So moving on, on Tuesday, my toddler does have a toddler gym. So I pulled in this adorable baby sticker designed by Let's Planet. Unfortunately, I don't think this design is in her shop anymore, which is so disappointing because I absolutely love this sheet of stickers. I find them to be so adorable. I thought it was perfect to mark his gym class. On Monday, I pulled in a Fox and Pip sticker. It's a giant coffee cup with the brunette girl. And the quote on the coffee cup says, I'll take a Monday-sized coffee to go. I absolutely love that sticker. I think I've only used it about one time in my memory spread, but I, I just think it's so cute. So I was really excited to pull that in. So this week I did pick up the incentive program at work, which means you pick up extra shifts during a six week period and you get paid a bonus for picking up a certain number of shifts. So in order to fit all the IP shifts in the six week period, I am going to have to work three days in a row this week. I mean, you know, most people work five days in a row, but you got to remember, nurses work 12-hour shifts and we're scheduled for 12 hours, but lately I've been getting to work for like 6.30 in the morning and I haven't been leaving till about 9, 9.30 at night. So it is really hard for me to be away from my kids for three days straight. I, I just talking about it, I'm feeling emotional. Um, I've never not seen my kids for three days straight. So I'm really hoping that I get out somewhat on time so I can see them before they go to bed at some point <laughs> during those three days. Um, but just to mark the days that I work, I just created some little layering scenes with florals from the Sadie Stickers collection. Um, that work, or the two work stickers that I pull in, those are stickers that I did design myself. And I accented both work scenes, the work floral scenes, with butterflies from Sadie Stickers, um, the bee 
Deco is from Sadie Stickers, and some of the butterfly accents are from Letters to Apollo. If you noticed on Saturday, I did pull in a transparent matte watercolor swatch from Paper Trail Plans in pink and layered that under a decorative box from the collection. I absolutely love the way that turned out. On Sunday, I pulled in a yellow transparent matte watercolor swatch also from Paper Trail Plans and it looks so cute layered under that garden cart um, deco sticker from the collection. I definitely am starting to feel a little bit more confident after this spread using transparent matte stickers. If you're interested in picking those up, I do have a coupon code with Paper Trail Plans, it's Tower 15 to save you 15% off your purchase. If you look on the bottom of the page, I did end up pulling in this beautiful floral kiss cut washi from the Pretty Pink Co. I originally thought I was going to pull in the fence deco, but I just thought that sticker was a little too heavy for this spread. So I went with a more delicate design and this floral design was perfect. So now I am just filling out my week. I did get a lot of questions regarding if I will be showing you my completed week after it is completely filled out. I'm not really sure if I'm going to do that. So how I functionally, functionally plan is I fill out my appointments, my to-dos, my pregnancy tracker, my habit trackers, and then in that bottom section, I will write down things that happen throughout the day that I want to record in my memory planner. So of course, when I do plan with me, I'm telling you guys a lot of the events, but there are also things that happen that I write down that I don't include in my plan with me that are just more personal, but I still want them in my memory planner for my memories. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do a day by day where I'm filling everything out and I'm really sorry. I know that you guys were kind of hoping I was, but you know, I, I still want to keep a balance between my social life here on YouTube and then my private life. But for now, I will continue to update my pregnancy tracker, my habits, my appointments, and my to-dos on camera. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment below. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on the completed spread. Also, please let me know which you prefer regarding my discount codes. If you like me to announce them throughout the video, or if you would just rather me mention, hey, take a look in the description below. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I greatly appreciate every comment and every like. It means so much to me. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.